shooting in Boulder, Colorado, as well as last week's shooting in Atlanta, reigniting the nation's control, gun control debate. It's a discussion that's taking shape on Capitol Hill as well. And News 8's Chris Grove joining us live with that part of the story. Chris. And good morning, Eric and Netta. So all eyes now on Washington, D.C., specifically with the Senate, right, to see exactly what they may do in response to these two mass shootings separated uh, just by a couple of days, all within about a week's time. And you would think that that would spur conversation to do something, but it does remain, uh, you see here, here a debate between both sides of this argument right now they are debating legislation to close loopholes in background checks two bills already passed by the house of representatives early earlier this month but we are seeing now the senate looking at that and even in a scheduled already scheduled senate senate committee hearing both sides continue to entrench themselves opposite of each other when it comes to these bills and at the same time, we're hearing President Biden calling on Congress to do even more than just these background checks. He does want lawmakers to pass them, but he also called for Congress to reinstitute a ban on assault weapons and large capacity magazines. It was law for the longest time, and it brought down these mass killings. We should do it again. And every time there's a shooting, we play this ridiculous theater where this committee gets together and proposes a bunch of laws that would do nothing to stop these murders. And again, this does prove to continue to be a pretty divisive debate air in Washington, D.C., but we're also starting to see potentially some Democrats start to fall off of support for these background check uh, bills. That includes West Virginia Senator Joe Manchin, who says that he's opposed to these two bills. And we're still seeing Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer say he does want to have a vote on them, but he may have one less Democrat and potentially even more uh, if things remain the same as they are right now. Eric Anetta.